What's up? It's Noah Talk Music. I'm going to help you guys create a low sub, maybe TikTok sounding kind of bass. It's really rich. Um, it just has that grunge to it, but it also is very smooth. So I know that's a lot of conflicting words, but it's going to be great. So I'm going to let you guys listen to a song that I wrote recently called Voice Message. And we're just going to listen to it super quick so you can kind of feel and hear what that bass sounds like when it comes in. This is a pre-chorus, and then here it comes. So it's got like those high, high enough buzzing kind of sound that you can hear it over the mix, but it feels really low and rich and smooth. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy that. We're going to make a new one. First thing I want you guys to do, make a new instrument track. Um, obviously, click right there. Software instrument, new instrument track, okay? Then I want you to go right here where it says e-piano. That's usually what pulls up first. If you click those two arrows right next to it, you just hover, click, you can come down to retro synth. Retro synth is what I use in so many of my songs for so many instruments, because it's just so versatile. So when you pull it up, it'll look like this. Um, maybe you've seen it where it looks like blue or that color, whatever. But what I want you to do is just go to analog. Um, yeah, you can see like all my different things that I've saved. These aren't very good. You can try them out. I've used them in past songs, but this one is the one that I love the most. So I've called this one Pure Sub 22. Let's open it up so we can look at it. Great. This is my instrument right here, the Pure Sub 2022 September. This is the one that we're going to be copying. This all this video is. You're just going to copy the bass that I've made. So first of all, let's drag this oscillator. Mine's all the way down. So remember, you're on the left. Drag it all the way down for me. Make your semitone zero, sense zero, vibrato zero, shape modulation zero. Um, this shape up here doesn't matter because I've dragged it all the way down to only the second oscillator. So make sure it's on this kind of triangular looking one. Um, for your filter, look, I'm on LP 12 B sharp right there. So just click it, go to LP 12 DB sharp for the key. I've raised mine up pretty high, just a little bit of a gap before the top. And then your cutoff, this is 0.358. So drag that out to 0.358 as close as you can get it. There 0.358. I was able to do it exactly. My volume's at zero. Keep the chorus turned off. Um, sign level looks like it's just below zero, 0.48. Okay, for your envelope, make sure that is sitting right in the middle at zero. I think you can just double click it. LFO, same thing. Um, I actually put it at 0.5 right in the middle. Now, your drive for whatever that is, bring that all the way down to static, all the way down. Perfect. Make sure that glide is turned off on both of these. For LFO and vibrato, I want you guys to just click on LFO first, and then whatever wherever this is, drag it all the way up. That turns it off. For vibrato, same story. I just want you to drag it all the way up, turn it off. Okay, let's look at our filter envelope. My attack is at 4.9 milliseconds. It's a pretty fast attack. It's pretty good though. Okay. Now your decay, bring that up, drag it all the way out to 10 seconds. Your release is pretty short, honestly. You can make it long and it will extend for a while. Just, just don't though, keep it short at like 48 milliseconds. Great, now let's look at our amp envelope. Um, attack is 1.6, very short. The decay is 10 seconds. And the release is really short at... 18 milliseconds. Okay, this is really, really important. This next step is probably the most important step. You might notice your sub is kind of bouncing from one ear to the other ear, and that's not good. So just go right into settings. Transpose. I mean, I have it just at minus one octave. You can do that too if you want. Make sure it's a mono or legato that just means you can only play one at a time so the subs aren't going to overlap they're going to cut each other off and play the new note tune zero bend zero stereo spread zero voice detune zero 
For unison, I don't usually do this. I usually leave it off, but you can put it to two voices and it will be okay. Then this little arrow down here, I just have MIDI mono mode mode off. Um, as far as the instrument goes, you have now ha made like the same instrument that I've made. Okay, look, I've got a distortion on here. It just kind of brings back some of that like clarity, some of that sharpness in the bass. So you do that too. Go to audio effects, straight to distortion two. It's under distortion, distortion two, stereo. I'm gonna bring up mine um, and you bring up yours and we'll compare. So pure sub 2022 September. Make sure it's class AB soft. Drive all the way up, tone fairly high at like 6.75. Perfect. Pre gain lowered at to, I think it's seven, negative 7.5. Yep. So you've just done a good job. You've just made your distortion. Now let's add a channel EQ. So I'm pulling up, this is an EQ for my instrument. I'll pull up the EQ for yours that you're about to do. It's under EQ, channel EQ. None of this is rocket science. It's just using the free stuff that's available. Like you paid 200 bucks or whatever it is for the app. So like, don't pay for anything else. Just the app is so powerful. It has so much to give you. Oh, I'm not even explaining what I'm doing. Take out some of the high end and soften it. So click on the pink dot, drag this in, drag this out. That's how you soften it. And then drag it all the way down so that this little peak right here starts scraping into the 800 zone. Mm, right there. And then for your low end, you don't need that much. It's like kind of excessive. Now this needs to be a bit sharper. Just pull it in like a little bit like that. And I'd say drag until the peak starts scraping the 40. Just try to match it up with what I've got here. Okay, perfect. Um, hopefully you can't hear the difference. Hopefully it's the same thing. So let's listen to the first one. Great. And now yours that you just copied. about the same. So let's listen to the song now with the bass that you've created. Okay, like and subscribe. Um, again, Noah Talk Music, thanks for tuning in. Comment um, a song that you want me to try to copy and I'll do it.